Hey, what's up, guys? Your boy Vance here, back again with another delicious video. And today we're gonna to be watching another video by Swifty Unknown. And today we're gonna to watch his latest video, Ghost of Tsushima Ninja Stealth, Stealth Kills PS5 Edition. Now, of course, there's not much I can say, but if you if you wonder why I haven't uploaded, like I believe, like two days now, it's not because I got a lot going on right now. You know, adult responsibilities and all that jazz. And plus, not only that, I'm trying to keep my mental health in check as much as possible because holy shit, life can really kick in the balls a lot of the times. Especially with everything that's getting going around the world right now. You know, it's really taking a, taking a kick in the balls right now. But of course, with all that being said though, I just want to keep this real short. If you got any recommendations for any videos you want me to watch, let me know in the comment section. Like the video if you enjoy this type of content. Subscribe. All that sexy jazz. But um, if you want to watch the full video, because I will have to cut at least one or two parts out, it the, there will be a link in the description. Like, hmm. Damn. I might have to stop eating zebra cakes. But yeah, there will be a link in the description if you want to watch the full video without any cuts. And, um, yeah, with all that being said, though, let's hop straight into the video. Make sure it's turned up all the way to max. So I can hear. That was clean. I really hope I don't get in trouble with YouTube over all this because let's be honest, YouTube has been acting very strange with their rules. YouTube, I understand that so with certain things like this, gore and all that, it's like not a thing you want to be showing, but come on, we gotta learn when to make some exceptions, right? God damn my chest. I don't know what it is, but but watching videos like these are very satisfying. Like it it really allows you to take in take in all the effort they put into the combat system. Obviously, one thing I noticed about his videos, which I hope is a he, because let's let's be honest, if I if it's a she and this whole time I'm calling him, calling him a he, it's like I'm calling her a he. Yeah, really, really awkward. All I'm saying that Swifty just always just make make really great content. From a personal standpoint, just full upgrade, full combat, hella enjoyable.
the point you trying to notice me right there brother damn I wish I wish competitive games have it where like you have a stealth stealth character that could like sneak around the uh, playing field and just be all sneaky and clever. I wish I wish you had characters like that, but at the same time, I kind of stand that some people might be like, we shouldn't really have any stealth characters in a competitive game. Like this is just me going off the uh, going off the head with this. Like just I'm just ranting here, but I'm just saying, like say is Apex Legends, right? It may, it would make me very curious if in an Apex Le Apex Legends. We had a character that's capable of just being totally in stealth. Like, it's able to catch their enemies off guard and just completely, completely just be like this surprise person. Obviously, they have to be like a solo, like a, a solo frag legend type of character. That's all about, that's all about stealth, you know? Because obviously, you got a, you got a legend that can like have, help their whole team do something do something like stealthily, you know, then it's like, it's kind of like really, an, it, will, it will be really annoying because of how in Apex Legend, the state that it's in right now, is that a lot of people like to hold hands in this game. Like they're just singing Kumbaya and shit. And obviously with that, with that whole type of meta, just sticking close together to a point where if you fight one person, you always fighting the whole squad. It's like, yeah, it's it doesn't really it really feel like it's a really annoying an OP. But um but uh, but most most of all I all I gotta say is that I really feel like in these in these games I wonder what would happen if we had a stealth legend. A legend that's like that's like has a decent amount of movement and can like like for instance say like you have a special legend that can like open a gateway through walls and catch the enemies all by surprise. Even though people will be like, that's too OP, but the thing is, simple. With the ability like that, you just simply give it a cooldown. Not to mention, you can't shoot at the player until you actually go through it. Meaning that you can't shoot through it, but you can go through it. Through it. I know everything I just said was probably confusing. I understand that. I tend to do that a lot of the time. But, um, yeah. I just really feel like we should have a stealth legend in the game. Or just just in general, any game that's competitive, have a character that's like capable of making some sweet ass plays. Like when shit hits the fan, you just have that one character or one legend or one operator who is capable of just turning the tides in your favor. Favor. With some stealth. And it yeah, it just gotta be straight up stealth. You just have to open your mouth, brother. Oh, damn, dude took off. Damn. Let him sleeping with the fishes. Well, go get your food, cuz. Oh, 
Marcus Mitsima. <laughs> This outpost ain't clear yet. Somebody gotta go. Mm-hmm. We found our two targets. Wait, is that two? No, that's one. No, that's two. He looked his his little thing, his little box looked weird. Oh, don't do it to him. Don't do it to him. Don't. Yep. Oh, that's dirty. Get violated. Oh, he had to feed an enemy with black powder and then defeat the mongrels. Oh, uh, that's a bonus, though. You should always get the bonus. Just a, just a little extra flair. No skill set. Okay, wait. Boom. Village saved. All right, man, I ain't gonna lie. I know a lot of you guys are probably like, well, why are you reacting to videos like these? And it's like, I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it real. Videos like these are just really good to watch. I like, it's like I like I like games with a lot of combat. But at the same at the same time it's like No, I like games with a lot of combat. I really do. Even though I would hate to like play online competitive games because of how I tend to just not be able to adapt to those games. Seriously, I'm a person with like over with probably thousands of hours. Over a thousand not thousands, but over a thousand hours of just Apex gameplay. Since I've been playing ever since it came out on console, and I switched over to PCs, which so far on my on PC I got almost 300 hours on the, on the game, including all the the hundreds of hours I have, including on the Xbox, Xbox Switch. I remember when it was like all the original freaking legends that came out with the game on launch and everything for the console, and it's like, bruh, those are some good times right there. But of course, with all that being said, though, I'm going to end this right here. If you guys want me to watch any videos, when you if you want to recommend any videos, let me know. And um, yeah, just know I might react to more of Swifty, Un Swifty Unknown content. Because let's be honest, I, I like to watch a lot of of his content. So fuck it, I'm going to just say his. And um, yeah, with all that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. This is...